Micah 2, verse 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with the sore destruction. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. <clears throat> Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Enough respect to the brothers teaching the truth all over the earth. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to call this lesson. Uh, I may call it the prophecy of poison food and Babylon the Great. Anyway, you know, regardless of what the title is, <clears throat> we get constant warnings. And I'll read it again. Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And we are directed to depart our minds, you know, out of the ways of Babylon the Great. Because it's polluted, it will destroy you. Now, one way this place is gonna is polluted is the food. Among other things, the food here is terrible. Okay, you have GMO seeds, your GMO food, which is genetically genetically modified organisms, right? Which is really not natural. You know, now you have this big uh, revolution of the whole um, organic food. All food should be known as organic. I didn't know that, you know, you need to put a label on it, call it organic. Because organic implies that it's grown from the earth, <laughs> which all food is supposed to, you know, be organic. So that's telling you when you see the term organic or so many things, it's telling you that the food you're eating nine times out of ten is not, not real food. But anyway, <clears throat> what led me to do this is I ran across an article here from um, Google Plus. One of the brothers, up, you know, posted it. ATL Mahar, one of the brothers out of Atlanta, and he says here, Wendy's employees film mouse moving around in burger buns at Oklahoma location. <clears throat> and he says here, eat at home, Akim, which is, that's brothers, pray over your food. Wendy's employees film mouse moving around in, in burger buns at Oklahoma. Now, at Oklahoma location, excuse me. Now, they have a little video here attached to it, but I found another video. <clears throat> I'm going to play it from YouTube. We'll watch this. We'll read an article. And then we have a few scriptures to read. And it's actually prophesied that the Israelites would eat defiled bread among the Gentiles, which I call it the prophecy of poison food. So watch this short video. And then we'll get into that article and we'll read the scriptures. And that'll be it. So stay tuned. It's a video Wendy's employees felt they needed to share. A live mouse amongst the hamburger buns and feces throughout the packaging. Skylar Frame shared this after she says management did not take action on Thursday. I just hear mouse, 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 and I'm like, we do not have mice in this store. Like, what? And I go back there, and surely the mouse is moving around in the big buns. The Wendy's team told us in a statement they've been made aware of this situation and take these matters very seriously. And they've launched an investigation with their pest control vendor and internal quality assurance. Employees say before this was reported, even just this week, loose cigarettes were left in the preparation area. Well, the managers, they're just like, yeah, we'll get to it. Yeah, it's not really that big of an issue. Um, my boyfriend's mom, she called up later and was like, is there mice in your store? And the manager at the time, Lillian, she denied that. And on Sunday, another employee posted this video, saying it follows a rat found earlier in the month. The next time I found an actual live mouse in there crawling around eating all the burger buns, and she told me, just take a new rack and then get the buns underneath. And that was just a stunt scene because last time when there was rat feces, there was dribbling underneath every other rack. Employees here tell us they've noticed multiple health code violations just in the last year and plan to quit if managers at this Catoosa location don't take action. There was this one guy, he was sick and he was a sandwich maker and he was not wearing gloves and he was rubbing his nose, he was making them and he didn't care if like the buns were toasted or not, he was just throwing them out and I was like, I'm going to throw up. Wendy's corporate went on in their statement to say nothing is more important than the safety of our employees and customers and we have stringent procedures in place to ensure a safe and well-maintained restaurant. They confirmed the local health department visited this location earlier on Friday and found no violations upon inspection. Now, this is not an isolated incident. You hear about things all the time, you know, people finding, um, you know, chicken heads or chicken beaks, you know, uh, fingers, different things in, the, in their food, man. Because why? This place is Babylon the Great. It will destroy you. We read the scripture. Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with the sword destruction. Now, let's also note that this is America, Babylon the Great. The people here operate on a low frequency, man. A very low 
vibration, a very low frequency. Their morals are not in the right place and they don't care about shit. So when you have a, a situation where you have workers that um, work in these fast food restaurants, they don't give a damn about the food. Just like you heard the girl talking about, you know, this guy was sick and he was rubbing his nose and still making burgers or whatnot. When you eat at a, a fast food restaurant, you're risking your life, basically, man. And if it wasn't for the fact that we pray over our food, who knows, you know, what, you know, how how we would end up. Now, the Savior also said this, Mark 16, verse 17, and these signs shall follow them that believe. This talking about specifically the men of the Lord, though, you know, but you can also apply it to the people that are real believers. And these signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Now, like I said, particularly for those in the ministry. However, a certain a, a amount of that is going to be applied to the Most High's people. Because look, the Most High prophesied, or he had Ezekiel prophesied, that we would eat our defiled bread among the Gentiles. And he even had Ezekiel do an elaborate um, display showing just that at the time they probably didn't really re you know really realize what, what he was doing but nowadays we see we look back at it and we see it and the part i'm talking about um as far as uh the people of the lord if you drink you drink deadly things all the time and it, and and so far you know sometimes i mean people develop cancer over a period of time but as much things that happen to our food the most high really has has blessed us and looked out for us to keep us from perishing off of this bad food man if it wasn't for the spirit of the Lord protecting us, you know, we, we would have been dead a long time ago. I mean, let's just admit it. <clears throat> now, I want to read here an article. It says, it's from Fox News. It says, maggots, rat hair, mouse poop, and more. Gross things the FDA allows in food because this is America, Babylon the Great. And the name of the game is to make money. They cut a lot of corners, man. This place is fucked up. And it says here, many eaters likely want to avoid insect parts rodent feces or fly eggs in their meal but according to the food and drug administration that's just not possible the agency's defect level handbook provides guidelines for food pro process excuse me on the levels of natural or unavoidable defects in foods that present no health hazard for humans <clears throat> if you're thinking of de uh, of defect as something like a brown spot on a piece of fruit or a slightly misshapen potato think again the handbook lays out the maximum level of allowable contaminants for over 100 food items from all spice to wheat flour before the item is considered contaminated and should not be consumed. These little critters could be introduced to the food before, during or after the food was harvested or even during its processing and packaging. For example, in whole ginger, the FDA allows up to 3 milligrams or more of mammalian excreta, i.e. mouse poop per pound and peanut butter the agency allows an average of fewer than 30 insect fragments per 100 grams about a quarter of your average jar and you thought you were buying smooth not extra chunky and they make it jokes so why are these items allowed the handbook states that it would be economically impractical to grow harvest or process raw products that are totally free of non-hazardous naturally occurring unavoidable defects now didn't i just say that it's a money racket. They said it would be in, economically impractical, impractical, excuse me, economically impractical to keep clean food. So they do, they, they, hey, they produce food in mass quantities and all the while they're not protecting, you know, the foods. Now, there was more to this article. Just bear with me here. I'm going to try to get it. There it is. Yeah, Salaki. And it says, but the reality is that although these numbers may worry consumers, most food on the shelves contain levels that are considerably lower than what is allowed because companies have their own safety inspection units, according to food safety specialist Benjamin Chapman. Food defects are not things that cause people to get sick, Chapman told Live Science, and that's a lie. Chemicals like pesticides, metals, or disease-causing organisms such as salmonella or E. coli are the real contaminants. You know, and I mean, hey, that's just a short article to let you know. Now, I'm going to cover real quickly a few of the things that they allow look at this maggots or fly eggs and tomato juice these are things that are allowable tomato juice may taste better at 30,000 feet but you may think twice before cracking that can the fda allows for up to 10 
drop so filler fruit fruit fly eggs are one maggot per 100 grams and, that, and i mean that's disgusting man now number two it says insects crawling in brussels sprouts the agency allows for an average of up to 30 aphids also known plant lice or and or thrips tiny winged pests per 100 grams it's just amazing man number three spice up your spices with rodent hair for every 50 grams cinnamon and 25 grams of ground paprika the fda allows up up to 10 rodent hairs and in cinnamon up to 400 insect fragments per <laughs> are allowed per 50 gram sample that's just awful man and i mean it's more when you look at the meat you know when you think about mcdonald's and these restaurants that are mcnuggets being made out of pink slime the food with meat glue and uh, food coloring being put in it you know there's a uh, farm being or uh, fish being raised on a farm Instead of, you know, um, naturally, you know, spliced DNA with, with fish in your strawberries, super salmon that's uh, genetically modified and spliced with, um, uh, what is it, eel DNA mixed with, with that of a fish to make the fish longer. I mean, it's, you can just go on and on with this stuff, man, you know. Uh, and you start thinking about the Chinese food, you know, the stuff that they, these people do to the food, man, it's just ridiculous. Uh, number four, mold can be almost anywhere. Low levels of mold are allowed in most fruits and vegetables, canned and fresh, as well as butters and jams. In cranberry sauce, the average mold count can be up to 14% per sample, but for black currant jam, mold count can be up to 74% per sample. Terrible. Number five, cigarette butts or sticks. Yes, the FDA does explicitly detail an allowable percentage of cigarette butts in food. One would hope that that could be avoidable. But it does allow for the inclusion of foreign matter and select foods, which, according to their definition, can be it can be objectionable matter such as sticks, stones, burlap bagging, cigarette butts, etc. Also includes the valueless parts of the raw fruit materials, such as stems, spices like pepper, excuse me. Spices like pepper and mace are also allowed to have trace elements of these things. And this is pretty, pretty disgusting. Number six. Mouse poop is pretty common. The FDA uses a highly scientific term, mammalian excreta, to describe any type of rodent fecal matter, whatever you call it's prevalent, whatever you whatever you call it, is prevalent in modern food. It can be found in spices like oregano, sage, thyme, and fennel seeds, and trace amounts up to nine milli milligrams per pound can be found in cocoa beans. And I've also heard that there's a certain amount of rat rat poop allowed in chocolate which is you know pretty disgusting now let's just read and you can use your imagination you know what i mean i mean it's terrible man let's just read um a quick prophecy and then that'll be it so this is um ezekiel 4 and verse 8 it says and behold i will lay bands upon thee let me you know what let me go to verse 1 ezekiel 4 and 1 thou son of man take thee a towel and lay it before thee and portray upon it the city, even Jerusalem, and lay a siege against it, and build a fort against it, and cast a mount against it, and set the camp also against it, and set battering rams against it round about. You know, and this is just basically an um a display, you know, that telling the Israelites what's gonna happen to them. Now, uh I start at verse eight and it says, And behold, I will lay bands upon thee, and thou shalt not turn thee from one side to another, till thou hast ended the days of thy siege. Take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and millet and fitches and put them in one vessel and make thee bread according bread thereof according to the number of the days that thou shalt lie upon thy side. Three hundred and ninety ninety days shalt thou eat thereof and thy meat which thou, sh thou eat shall be by weight. Twenty shekels a day from time to time shalt thou eat it. Thou shalt drink also water by measure. The sixth part of an hen from time to time shalt thou drink. And thou shalt eat it as barley cakes, and thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man in their sight. And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whither I will drive them. Now, the Most High told Ezekiel to do this and let the people see you mixing up poop inside of your food that you eat. So they'll, you know, and then he said, What? And the Lord said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles whether I will drive them. Then said I, our Lord, Lord Power, behold, my soul hath 